Melody Almay, and welcome back to another banger, baby. As you guys can see by my background, I'm actually sitting in my new place in Los Angeles, and I'm gonna show you how I got here. If you guys are moving to Los Angeles, and especially by yourself, just understand that everything is a process, everything requires patience. And when I first moved to Los Angeles, y'all know the struggles of when I had to rent a room, because that's literally all I could afford is a room in Los Angeles. I could not afford a whole entire apartment. This is the place that I dreamed about having when I first moved to Los Angeles. And I just had to be patient. Literally, I've been in Los Angeles for three years now, and I'm just now moving into the place of my dreams. I'm gonna take it all the way back from my last apartment hunt vlog. You guys seen that when I went all the way around in Los Angeles trying to find the perfect place to sublease a room. So the difference of now and then is now, I can finally afford rent in LA. Let's just... Me and my boyfriend put our incomes together and we decided that we're going to get a really nice place in Los Angeles. This is a huge step in my relationship in my life. I never lived with a significant other ever. If you guys been watching these vlogs, you guys been watching me manifest this and I literally manifested this place. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. I will show you guys the whole entire process of me moving and organizing all of my stuff into my new place in Los Angeles. This is my first one bedroom apartment, y'all. This is my first big girl apartment. When I say big girl apartment, baby, we gotta pay for utilities, electricity, cable, renter's insurance, all that stuff I have to think about now, as well as getting furniture. But you know what? I wanna show you guys the whole entire journey. So let's start from day one. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys go smash that subscribe button and join the May Baby family because we are on the road to 20,000 subscribers and we're almost there. So get us there, May Babies. And smash that notification bell so you know whenever I make a new post, Let's begin the journey. my baby so I just pulled up to Plato's closet I'm going to be dropping off all of this stuff I have about one two three four five six and there's seven eight about eight bags of stuff that I want to go ahead and give away slash sell to get some cash back at first I wanted to sell it on Depop I'm gonna make sure that I put my Depop account down in the description box below if I don't sell these items I'm gonna try to keep them and sell it to you guys this stuff is pretty expensive and I pay some good money on it I had a really good photo shoots in it so I just want to make sure that it doesn't just get thrown away so I'm gonna go ahead and try to trade these clothes into Play-Doh's closet and see how much I get back seven bags I'll let y'all know there's another Play-Doh's closet let me see how far away it is because this one itself was like 30 minutes away there was no Play-Doh's closet the other one is 42 minutes away so yeah y'all whatever I don't sell here I'm just gonna give it away but we'll see I'll check back with you guys and give you guys an update on what's happening throughout this moving process your girl is quick to put on my man's shoes I'm quick to slide my skinny ass in these little slides. Okay, y'all, so I just left Play-Doh's closet. So they spent an hour to go through all my stuff. Mind you, I took in seven bags, right? So they texted me an hour later after they supposedly looked through my stuff and said, we have finished going through your items so and we can discuss the details about how much you're gonna get. Tell me why they gave me $5 for one item out of the six bags. So I'm pissed. <laughs> I know there's some really good stuff in here. I've refused to just give it away. So I'm gonna go through it myself and see what I wanna give away. Cause right now I'm at the Salvation Army. I'm gonna at least give away two of these bags and keep the other two. I don't know, but I'm gonna go to another Play-Doh's closet and see what they can give me because that was ridiculous. I feel like they just didn't feel like doing their job today. $5, are you serious? This not even a gallon of gas.
What? Hello, my May babies. Welcome back to another day of struggling with Melody Al May. It is actually day three of this move-in day. We move in on Friday and today is Wednesday, October 12th. As you guys can see, I have not even started packing, but I started cleaning and organizing because I have a lot of stuff and I am gonna be downsizing. So I'm gonna be moving all this stuff. I'm gonna show you guys the before. I'm not doing anything to my bed because of course I'm gonna need to sleep somewhere for the next couple days. So I'm just gonna put all my pillows inside of a box i bought all my boxes i bought some contractor bags really quick moving tip if you guys are moving clothes and you guys don't want to pay for boxes literally all you have to do is get a contractor bag some rubber bands your clothes are already hung up so all you have to do is just grab them by the hanger tie a rubber band around the top and then put the contractor bag over your clothes that's it but i will show you guys an example of that but let me show you guys the before so this is all of the stuff that i have to put in a box i'm going to be taking down all this wall decor and calendar stuff and all of this look at my dog y'all he wants to just be a part of my vlog say hey to my man babies choo choo <laughs> And so yeah, I'm gonna get this process of me just breaking down the stuff. Hopefully this doesn't take all day. My room is literally the place where I have most of my stuff. So I'm really just wanna get this knocked out today. So tomorrow, all we have to do is just get the rest of the stuff out of the kitchen and the bathroom and we'll be done. So I plan on just getting a U-Haul and just getting everything out all at once. So I don't have to come back and make multiple trips. That's a smart way to go. So that's what I'm gonna do. And yeah, y'all, I didn't do anything yesterday because after I went to to play those closets to try to get some money off of my clothes and I got five dollars back I was just pissed so I just took the day yesterday to just do my other content and focus on other things that I have to do before I move like changing my address it's just a lot of little stuff that I have to think about but I'm gonna begin this process so if you guys like this video make sure you guys thumbs up go smash that subscribe button and join the Mad baby family and let's get into day three Too many hoes But they ain't you You like to put that shit in your nose But I still love you Be doing shit that nobody knows In the streets they be Make a hood
time my babies I just took a break from packing and everything because I have to take Chuchi the pup to get his shots because he's due for his rabies shot for this year unfortunately we have to get the rabies shot before we move to this new place because if they do this pet screening y'all let me tell y'all first off Chuchi the pup is officially an emotional support animal yeah his certificate right here so you guys know it's official y'all know i've been traveling with chuchi the pup for a while and i have not registered him at all i've been sneaking him and hiding him like a fugitive every time i go on a plane but now it's official he's an ems dog instead of paying 600 dollars for a pet deposit and 75 dollars a month which adds up all i had to pay was 200 dollars by just registering him as an ems animal i got everything all taken care of and it was chef's kiss not saying that 600 dollars pet fee on my bill for my first month's balance. This is the last thing on the list is to get this shot. Hopefully Chuchi acts good. I'm gonna try to get some footage. Last time that I recorded this video, they said I couldn't record, but I'm gonna record anyway, y'all, because I gotta get this content. So yeah, this is where we're at right now. So we're about to give Chuchi the pup his rabies shot, and I'm gonna continue packing. So I'll check back with you guys in a bit. If you guys like this content, make sure you guys go smash that subscribe button, and I'll be back to check with you guys in a bit. Alright y'all, we just got to the animal hospital. Let's check in. Nana. Stop it. Why is your eyeball like this? Oh my gosh. It's okay, Simba. You scary. Okay, as y'all can see, Chuchi did not like the shots, but we got it done. I'm gonna send it in. I'm gonna head home and probably keep on doing some more cleaning, not much packing. Tomorrow I'm gonna finish out packing and have everything all packed so Friday we can just pull up the U-Haul, pack up the truck, and be done. So I'll check back with you guys tomorrow on day. Hola, my babies. Okay, so I'm back and it is day four. And as you guys can tell by the background, it's literally an echo in this room. Echo! Ignore the background, the washer's going. Of course, I want to bring all clean clothes to my new place and I'm moving tomorrow. I can't wait, literally. I'm so excited. I've been just trying to clean everything, organize all of my stuff, get rid of stuff, out with the old and with the new. Right now, as you guys can see from the footage yesterday, I literally took down everything off of these walls all the decorations and everything now i'm going to be trying to put away these clothes and just take everything downstairs and towards the door because we're on our way out literally tomorrow we have to have everything packed on the u-haul truck early in the morning and try to get everything out in one trip so i'm trying to pack smart so i know where everything is and all i have to do is just make sure everything's organized so i can just pack everything up and then just easily unpack everything and not break anything or mess anything up so I got some contractor bags. It's like the heavy duty, hefty bags. And I'm gonna demonstrate how to do this, but I have my bags, I have my rubber bands, and I have my tape, and I'm literally just gonna use just a little piece of tape and a permanent marker just to write which bag it is. So like jackets, shirts, pants, etc. But I'll demonstrate that for you guys right now. So before we start begin packing all of these clothes up, let me show you guys the progress. So this is my room right now. It is basically empty besides, of course, my mattress. I have to break that down. You guys always wonder why my room is lighted pink. It's because of this curtain and I actually want to get rid of it because in my new place, I have these huge windows. I just can't wait to show y'all. I'm not going to say too much, but I'm just super excited. And it's just like, I want a different vibe from this new apartment. Like I've always had this curtain and hung up in all of my places in LA. And I just want a more, I don't know, I'm looking for something different. So I can't wait to show you guys that, but I'm gonna go ahead and begin this process of just packing up all my clothes and I'll show y'all how I do it. So let's begin.
body busy tonight. Joanna, making on the dummy tonight. Joanna, your busy body giving me life. Oh, hey, life. Why you do me like Joanna? So the first thing that we have to do is go pick up the modem from Spectrum. I never did this before, so Mystery Bay is helping me figure all the logistics out. But we have to go pick that up and then also, I wanna sell these clothes and try to get some money. I'm trying to go back to Play-Doh's closet. I know, I know. I have some hope that hopefully they'll get more items and I'm able to get more money for my clothes. And if I don't sell them, y'all, I'm just gonna go ahead and put my Depop in here so you guys can go ahead and check them out. Oh, I need to go to the bank so I can get the cashier's check because we actually have to pay for the first month's prorated rent as well as all the extra stuff. But yeah, that and then the last thing we're gonna do is probably go to Walmart and get some water because we ran out of water and I'm really actually hungry. I'm about to pack up literally all of my stuff. So literally we just pack up the U-Haul tomorrow and just be done with it. And this is actually our last day here. And I'm actually really excited. I'm not sad at all. I'm really excited. I can't wait to just be in our new place. I'll check back with you guys and give you an update on what's going on next in this process. Thanks for hanging out with me because I know this vlog's been all over the place, but we're gonna get it together and we're gonna have fun during the process. So let's get into it. All right, y'all, we just made it to Play-Doh's closet. Let's hurry up and get this over with. I thought you had more bags than that. I gave away the rest, so oh, this is it. Thank you. And then um, right now, probably max like 25 minutes. So we just picked up the modem and we got an extra router, so I don't know what that means. We'll see, we're gonna check it out and set it up tomorrow. But they just texted me and said that my clothes are ready. So hopefully they took some stuff this time. I'll let y'all know and check back with you guys in a bit. Right now I'm literally working on the thumbnail of my apartment hunt vlog, as y'all can see. Anyway, let's get into it. over it they didn't take the clothes like literally no clothes this time i'm not gonna give up hope i'm literally gonna sell the rest of my clothes on depop i'm probably gonna pack for the rest of the day i'm probably not gonna vlog it probably gonna get some food and then i'm gonna be packing for the rest of the night and i'll check back with you guys tomorrow give you guys an update on the big day i'm so excited y'all if you guys like this video so far make sure you guys thumbs up and i'll check back with you guys tomorrow i'm surprised you call me after the things i said Just get it off, get it off the damn thing. So what I'm gonna do is, okay, like seriously, I'm gonna stay, like pull it this way, we're gonna stand it up and slide it out of the room, okay? And while we're moving, let's communicate, okay? It's not like just, we're going, to, you know what I mean? Okay, well, we're gonna communicate. I didn't say we, could, we don't have to communicate. Yes, you do, you like, oh. Wait, watch the corner of this.
Look, it's heavy. You say I'm. You say I'm. Trying. I tried to do it. No, you tried to live your side and you died. Can you hope? Can you grab the door for me? Yes, yes. He's like, oh, oh, my side. Thank you so much, Amy. Open, open, open the door for me. Okay, I will. Shit. We did that. Now you gotta go get the bed frame. But that's not really that big. That's what we use to move you here. Alright. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stare into my I know that I don't make things clear. I fall for you every time I try to resist. One eternity later. All right, you guys. So we just loaded this truck and we're ready to go. And we're heading to our new place in LA. We're ready. We're finally here, my babies. Let's get it. Before we head on the road, I wanted to show y'all the progress. Literally, what we've been doing all morning and all last night. I stayed up till like two or three in the morning trying to pack up all this stuff. Two cheese clearly ready to go. This is the last goodbye, our last walkthrough in our old place. Kitchen is clean. Echo, echo. You can tell by the echo that this is empty. My roommate still has her stuff here. So this is none of my stuff. Literally all of my stuff is gone. We gotta turn off the TV, turn off the lights, turn off the everything. Cause we gonna make sure that the bill come to zero. We're gonna come up here. Come on my baby. Here's my empty bathroom. <sighs> I wanna be sad, but it's really not sadness. It's more excitement. Like I'm ready for this next chapter in my life, my baby. Everything is all empty. I took so many baths in this tub. We got nothing in the washer and dryer. Y'all, nothing in the green screen room. Nothing in here. Gotta check the closet. Y'all, excuse the carpet, but this room has so many memories. And this is the last time I'm gonna be here. Out with the old and in with the new babies. On to the next chapter in LA. Let's get it. I wish I was cool and knew how to do this. I can figure it out. Right? We don't know. Yes, that's right. Is it right? That's right. It was right. I don't know where. You ready? Is this the apartment tour? This is not the apartment tour. This is the empty apartment tour. This is the apartment before. You guys see me do my little ooh la la to it. I just wanted to show y'all the before. Real cute, real cute. The little storage closet. I'm gonna need that. This is the bathroom. I can't wait till I take a bath, y'all. Uh, I love this place, y'all. Like, this is my dream place. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me during this process. <gasps> Welcome home. Yes, guys, that was my job.
journey of moving to my new place in Los Angeles. Stay tuned for the new LA apartment tour coming on this channel. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys go smash that subscribe button and join the May Baby family. We're growing and this content is only gonna get better. Thank you guys so much for supporting me throughout this Los Angeles journey. I've literally been filming these videos since I moved just to inspire you guys to move out here. If you guys are scared about moving to a new place, living your dreams, make sure you guys just go for it. Out with the old, in with the new. Now that I'm in my new place in Los Angeles, I want you guys to hold me responsible for dancing and doing technique every day. My goal is to make a dance a day. I have a dance room in my apartment complex, so there's literally no excuse. Make a dance a day. I wanna take three dance classes a week. It doesn't matter what it is, three classes a week. I wanna make more singing content. I wanna write, I wanna start recording more music. And I also wanna build a studio inside my apartment. I wanna do that. So just more singing music content. It's coming to my channel. I wanna start a podcast. Comment below and let me know what type of topics you guys want me to talk about, but that's definitely coming on literally any type of podcasting platform. I'm going to start my own podcast. My microphone is on its way. Literally as soon as I get it, I'm going to start recording. So you guys comment below and let me know what type of topics you guys want me to talk about on my new podcast. Hold me accountable for going to more brand events in Los Angeles. Networking events, brand events, not clubs, but networking. Events. I want to go to Monday Night Vibes, which is like this fire karaoke club in Los Angeles where all the celebrities be going. You know what? Just have fun and open up and do some karaoke. And lastly, I want to work out at least five times a week. Every other day if need be, but I really want to build myself to be the best me that I can be in any way, whether inside or physically. I'm trying to be my best me, so hold me accountable of these things, my babies. This is a new place, so I'm feeling so inspired inspired to just evolve. So thank you guys for watching this vlog. Until next time, I will see you on the next Banger Baby. Yeah.